I'm gonna tell you 11 browser plugins that YouTubers should be using, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick from TuberTools.com. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, as content creators, we need lots and lots of tools. And because of that, I put together this list of Chrome extensions that are gonna help you with what it is that you do here on YouTube. And of course, if there's something that you are using that you think should be on the next list, make sure that you leave it in the comments below. First up is YT Notes. YT Notes is new and it is awesome because if you're watching my videos, sometimes you wanna take notes, right? With YT Notes, it actually allows you to be able to take notes and it even adds the timestamps for you, which is pretty Pretty cool. YT Notes is also free, so thumbs up for that. Next up on the list is OneTab. OneTab is amazing because if you have a channel to where you're constantly having to reply to comments with a video link, this extension lets you store them and organize them in a window to where you can just click a button and it's gonna show up and then you're gonna have those links there waiting for you instead of having to go and hunt them down all the time. Next up on the list is TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is the number one browser plugin for YouTube content creators. It's gonna help you compare your thumbnails so that you know which thumbnails are working the most for you in terms of getting the most clicks. It helps you come up with video ideas. It helps you know what tags to use in your videos. It helps you manage your channel and a bunch of other things that you need as a YouTuber. If you're not using TubeBuddy, you should. I'll put a link to them down in the description. Next on the list is HYFY Screen Recorder. This one is awesome because it allows you to record your screen and you can even record your camera while you're recording the screen as well. This is great for B-roll if you're doing any type of computer-based tutorials or help content. The only downside is that there is a 10 minute recording length. So if you're gonna make a long one, then you're either gonna have to cut it up into a few 10 minute segments or you're gonna have to use something else. Agora Pulse is next on the list. Agora Pulse is my personal social media management tool of choice. And the reason that I use the extension is because I can just click that extension and then it will go ahead and open up my panel inside of Agora Pulse. And then I can quickly add any videos or web pages or anything like that that I wanna share. Another really cool thing about Agora Pulse is when you are sharing your videos on social media, it actually gives you the option to just use the thumbnail image itself instead of embedding the video. And the reason that that's cool is because people have to click on it and come to your YouTube channel in order to actually see that video. That is gonna help you start new sessions, which basically means that you're bringing people onto YouTube from the outside and YouTube loves that. No idea why I just did this but it felt right. Last pass is next on the list. Let's say that you have a family member or a friend that is gonna watch your YouTube channel for you and publish videos while you're on vacation or something like that. Or let's say that you have someone that's gonna be helping you on your channel just doing anything. With LastPass, it actually encrypts your passwords and it allows you to share your password without having to actually share your password. It's it's kind of like magic a little bit. Next up is Fireshot. It's quick, it's easy, it lets you take a screenshot of whatever it is that you are seeing on your screen. It's actually better than that. You can take a screenshot of the entire page, even the parts that you're not seeing. You can take a picture of what it is that you are seeing, or you can just highlight a particular area of the screen and you can just screenshot that, which is great if you wanna take a little snippet of something, but you don't really need the entire page. Next on the list is Grammarly. Look. I'll be honest with you, I'm not the best at grammar. Spelling sometimes, you know, I mean, I got quick fingers on the keyboard and sometimes I make mistakes. Grammarly helps me make sure that when I'm writing descriptions that everything is the way that it should be, when I'm writing anything online, that it's the way that it should be. It even works in your email. You don't wanna look stupid because your grammar is somewhere in another dimension somewhere or because you can't spell anything, do you? I don't. Keywords Everywhere. I mentioned this one in a lot of videos because it's an awesome tool. Keywords Everywhere basically gives you insights into the general search volume of a specific term or phrase that you're trying to make your video about. Using Keywords Everywhere can help you make the right content decisions, which is why this one is pretty important. Next up is Page Marker. Page Marker, if you have ever been in one of my live streams, every Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern, by the way, you'll see that I use an extension to where it lets me doodle and write all over the screen, circle things and highlight things and all that. Page Marker is what I use for that. An awesome tool if you wanna write on your browser for any reason whatsoever. Next up, Emoji 
keyboard. Now you might think, hey, this one doesn't seem like it's that valuable, but I have a ton of people that ask me, hey Nick, how do you get all those little icons in your video descriptions? Emoji keyboard, that's how. I made another video, I'll put a link to it right up here, you should click on that now, of other tools that YouTubers should use. Make sure to check that out and add to that list as well if you have anything that you don't see listed. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.